what's going on guys this is my new toy um my new new toy because i had it and then i sent it back because it was broken i then received the same unit back it was still broken so i sent it back again and now i have a brand new unit it is a DJI Phantom 2 and the Zenmuse HD 3D gimbal. It's a three axis gimbal. So basically that means that you get super steady shots with the drone and hopefully this one works. So uh, let's get started. nice packaging going on here. Here is the gimbal right here and bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble 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 wrap <laughs> and the Phantom 2. Let's get this crap out of here. Okay. So, this is supposedly a new unit, so I'm not sure if I'm convinced that that's true, but um, anyway, actually I know that's not true because this isn't sealed. Here's the gimbal fits in there kind of weirdly. This isn't a new unit either because it was it wasn't taped. The tape was broken, I should say. If this is the same unit and it is broken, okay, it's not the same one, so, yeah, alright, thank god, there's two sets of props, and here's the body, here are some screws with a wrench and multi-tool screwdriver and uh, a little Allen wrench type deal. And then oh, this is this is just the European socket conversion, I guess. And silicone. <laughs> Here's the controller, which as you can see has a little instructional thing on it. And uh, already got batteries in it, so that's nice. The gimbal goes on the bottom of the Phantom, obviously, and it just kind of mounts down here. And the, the GoPro goes onto this, this little flat plate. And of course I'm doing this really terribly, but Actually, I'm backwards. Anyway, that, uh, the GoPro goes on here, and this basically stabilizes the camera. It runs off of the battery that's in the Phantom. Oh, holy crap, I think I got two batteries. Nope, never mind. <laughs> this is just the brick. I'm stupid. Uh, this is the charger brick, and... Uh, this is some some cable that I don't think I need because it's not for American plugs, but I'll keep it, who knows. This is another different wall socket adapter. Um, oh, micro USB wire because you need that to update the software for the Phantom. 
And here's the charger brick. Now the battery, the battery is uh, quite heavy and it's expensive as hell. Um, if you want to buy a replacement, it's like $160. Really, really inconvenient, especially considering the original Phantom battery was like 20 bucks. <laughs> Uh, you know, I had I had three of them, and I don't, I'm not gonna buy a replacement one of these yet because it's just too damn expensive. And they do last a little longer, and I know they have to power the, the gimbal as well, so I know it's a lot better battery than what was in the original Phantom, but it's expensive. So anyway, there's also been a couple problems with batteries as well. So that's everything before assembly. Quite the job but it's worth it if it works, which I have not had the pleasure of experiencing yet. So hopefully this one, hopefully third time's a charm because this is the third time I've received a Phantom. So the GoPro just goes into this, uh, there's a little 30 pin connector on the gimbal, and the GoPro, nope, the GoPro just clicks into that, it doesn't really click, but uh, then you have this little plastic brace that goes on here. Now the GoPro's secure on here. These are different colors for the ones that uh, screw on different directions. I don't even know which ones. I just I just try putting it on one way and if it doesn't work, I spin it the other way. And these kind of auto tighten, so it's not really a big deal. The Phantom 2 prop guards sitting here. I bought them before I got my original Phantom 2. So these these just mount, you know, on right here, and then there's some string that you thread through these little holes on the edges, and basically keeps you from denting your props, which will cause un unstable flight if you do have dented props. So it's good to invest in these. They're only they're not very expensive compared to this. Thirteen, fourteen hundred dollar total contraption. That's also that's why I got the Phantom 2 with the gimbal for the GoPro instead of the Vision Plus because I already have two GoPros, so I didn't really see the reason to get the Vision Plus. The camera on the Vision Plus is almost as good as the GoPro, but not quite. You can't shoot high frame rate with it, um, and its dynamic range and stuff just isn't quite as good as the GoPro. Um, I mean, it also won't do, you know, higher resolutions, like 2.7K or whatever, and I just know how to use the GoPro, although with the Vision Plus you can do a little bit more, I mean, you can look at your phone while you're flying and see what the camera's seeing. With this, you can't really do that if you're recording with the GoPro. I mean, if you're, if you're close enough and you're not recording, you can see what the GoPro's seeing with the GoPro app, but... That's pretty impractical because once you're recording, you can't see shit. So that's that. Um, you can obviously buy these uh, FPV systems, which allow you to mount a little LCD screen onto your controller and see what the fans are seeing, or see what the GoPro is seeing, rather. Battery into here and see if it's going to work. And if it doesn't, I might get really, really angry. Oh, actually, I'm gonna turn that off. I might want to take these props off for this, just in case. This battery, um, you tap it twice and on the second on the second press you hold it down and then the gimbal 
does its little calibration thing. And now the gimbal is ready to go. So you can see how that works. Okay. It works. <laughs> That's further than I've ever gotten with the Phantom 2 before, so. Hallelujah. Um, okay, and then turn this off, it's the same way. You tap it once, and then on the second time you hold it down, and it turns off. The, uh, the GPS calibration is pretty simple. Actually, it's not simple at all, I don't know why I said that. Once it connects to the controller, you flick this switch about five times. All of these turn on to a yellow color, and uh, when I say all of these, I mean the LEDs on the bottom. And uh, the first thing you do is you do a 360 twist like this, and then it'll turn to green, and then you tilt it up like this. Actually, I think you're supposed to do it with the gimbal facing down, so. Then you do a 360 like this. Of course, you do it a lot slower than what I'm doing, and then it'll do its little GPS calibration thing, and you have to wait until the all the lights turn to flashing green. And then you're ready to fly, so yeah. I'm ready to get out there and start shooting with this thing. It's gonna be great. Now that I finally have one that works. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, look forward to seeing what footage I can get with this bad boy. So. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.